Good morning. I want to do a quick uh, video here on uh, stocks so we can uh, discuss this. This is a Wyckoff wave in front of us. You can see we met resistance at the red line. IBM is down today, which is dragging us down. We're at a technometer of 45.6. Not much to add here except uh, definitely a resistance area. What I really want to go over here is the Wyckoff wave growth index. You can see here we have a buying climax, automatic reaction, secondary test, go up for an up thrust. I believe this was a test when we gave a sell on Monday at the gap up. We had the overbought technometer, which got us out. We have broken the uptrend line. We have fallen back into the trading range. So everything here, price action looks bearish. The problem is we got a technometer today at 38.8. That is oversold. Uh, so, uh, you know, we got to be careful with that. I don't know if that's going to mean that this is actually uh, a really sign of strength and a backup. But uh, I think the next day or two, we, we got to watch this. If we cannot rally here with this 38.8, then that tells us that I think we have bigger problems looking out the next three to six months. And because uh, if we're good, we should be able to rally here. Then let's also bring up SPY. SPY is a 40.14, so not oversold, but close. You can see on this rally up here where we had take profits, the OP did not rally here, which I thought was a little interesting, and I've mentioned that. And now with the OP coming down to the lows, that's why the technometer is staying oversold. So not really bullish in general. This rally didn't look very well. I also stated on Twitter, everyone was bearish at the lows. Everyone was bullish up here. So I think sentiment's a little too bullish which is why we're having this pullback here. So I still lean a little bearish. Let's look at DIA. This one you got a technometer at 43, which is more near neutral. So, uh, you know, once again, uh, I still think there's some downside. QQQ, which would correlate with our WWG, more of the NASDAQ type. You can see here, same thing. We gave a sell on the technometer lower right here at 50. Gave us this sell, which was a test of the up thrust. But now we're sitting here at 38.36. So once again, uh, we got to watch this. If this is a buy signal here, then uh, we should be looking at some stocks. And I'm uh, hesitant to do that. Now let's look at the TLT. Normally moving negatively correlated with stocks. You can see here we had an oversold reading down here at the lows. And then... Uh, we uh, did have a rally, got up to near overbought. Now we're back down to near oversold again. So I don't know if this is a spring and a test. Usually if bonds are ready to rally, that would mean stocks are ready to fall. So again, a little bit conflicting signals. And then we've got uh, UUP, the long dollar ETF, which I've been friendly on. We were oversold down here at the uh, last point of support. We're oversold again today. We are at a level that I think we need to really hold. Uh, this hasn't been as bullish to the upside as I expected. I still am going to hold long here, hoping for the best. And then let's go back. Uh, let's go back to our software. Didn't have the GDX saved. And on GDX, you can see here, change these so you can see them a little bit better. We had the fall through the ice and the rally back, kind of upward slanting support line here, which I'm okay with. We do have a technometer down to 41 or so. Uh, we have had a slight reversal today back higher. Again, price action looks negative, but uh, technometer looks like we want to bounce a little bit here where I would not like to see a bounce. So uh, we are long dust and uh, hopefully looking for GDX to turn lower. So that's really all I got for now. Uh, so I just want to let you know, maybe stocks on the NASDAQ could be trying to put in a little bit of a bounce here. And let's see if uh, that works. Thank you.